what's up guys so I'm doing a really quick video because I have to leave in 20 minutes and I have to do my makeup and my hair within 20 minutes and I already know my alarm is going to go off right now because I need to get ready and leave um I always do this to myself I'm always super late I don't know why I do this to myself but um, whenever I'm in a hurry, I usually take my time on my brows, but um, when I'm in a hurry, I just go all in first. Um, typically, I'll do that if, if I typically do my foundation um, first when I'm getting ready, when I'm getting like ready and I'm like busy and I gotta leave soon. Just because once I have that foundation down, I know that I don't have to really do much afterwards. Um, just because if I do my brows first, it's going to take a lot longer than it should. Um, today, I am booked the entire day. And it's like 10, it's like 1030, about to be, um, it's like at 1040. So I have 20 minutes to leave. And usually I take 30 minutes to get ready. Um, I was just enjoying my breakfast and I realized like what time it was. And I was like, Bleh. so just like a quick video today. Um. So, I just wanted to, like, talk to you guys because there's, like, so much that has changed um, just the past, like, few weeks, like, a lot. So, we just moved in and I'm going to do, like, a, um, like, a move-in vlog because I was recording the whole time I was moving and stuff. So, um, that'll be up maybe after this. I want to put something up, so I'm going to put this up. I actually have, like, a lot of videos, like, on standby. And I just need to finish editing and uploading them. So I figured I would just put, let you guys know because I know a lot of you like message me like, oh, do you still do videos? And I'm like, I do. I just don't post as often. And I told myself this year that I would be posting a lot more like on all of my social media to kind of bring awareness to like my brand and bring awareness to um, what I'm trying to do. Um, like the one thing that I was really concerned about is my eyeshadow looks because um, that's what's really important to me right now is um, being able to kind of grow that um, page because um, I know it's not like a lot compared to like some people but I had, um, oh my god there's a hair in my cheek, um, I know it's not a lot but I had almost 500 people follow me on on my makeup stuff and I stopped posting and ended up going down a lot, so I need to continue to post on that and kind of bring forth that, because I really want to, like, show my creativity, and I feel like I just keep posting and, like, it doesn't really get a lot of attention, so the more followers, the shitty thing is the more followers you have, the more people are likely to look at your work. Um, I have been reached out from, like, um, there's a show in Chicago that they show uh, your artistry skills and they reached out to me but I never felt comfortable because I didn't feel like my work was like this grand thing and I feel like this year if they asked me again I would be able to do it just because I feel like I'm a lot more confident in my work this was like two years ago when they asked me and then they asked me again last year but I wasn't really prepared yet but I feel like I'm a lot more prepared now um but yeah so that and then um we just moved so there's a lot going on we still have a lot of boxes around um we're still figuring out if this is where I want to put my makeup station at because I had it in the closet and we were going to kind of use this as like extra space but it was just too crammed in the closet so we're just going to kind of go with that but um that and then um, I have so many video ideas, like, now that it's 2020, I feel like it's, like, a fresh start. I know it's, like, you have always had a fresh start, you could always do that, but I feel like now, because it's, like, a new year, I have a fresh start. Um, so I have so many videos coming out, and I have so many, like, video ideas, I just need to find the time to, um, do them. Um, I have a lot regarding opening a studio, and then I really want to do a studio tour, like, an official studio tour. But there's just some things that I need um, before I do that and I'm not ready yet. So maybe next month I will do that just when I have everything. Even though I've had it for like a few months, um, I'll do that. And then 
a lot of people have been asking me lately about skincare, so I figured I would do a video regarding that. Um, and there's a lot within skincare, and I feel like I could be, like, educating people on that, especially because there's a lot of things that kind of go into skincare. It's not pretty, it's not, like, that simple, and it's not as simple as what people make it out to be because there's certain things that, like, dry out your skin, there's, there's, there's certain products that irritate your skin, and you, like, wonder why, like, you're breaking out, but it's because of, like, these particular ingredients. Um, so... Yeah, um, and then I have a whole bunch of makeup looks on cue as well because I was, um, there was one day when I did like four in one day and that's like, a, that's what I try to aim for is at least four in one day when I am doing the, um, looks, um, I'll do like one on each eye and then I'll take it off and do another one. And so, um, I have a couple in cue. I just need to edit them and find time to do them today. I have a little break, like a 15 minute break, so I'm gonna do that today. Oh, I think I usually would do a, my brow pencil, but because I'm rushing, this is like so much easier for me. But that's pretty much it with the update. Um, I really wanna start working on perfecting my videos because there's just like so many things that I want to talk about and like I'm not a very like outgoing person so whenever I have the opportunity to post about something it really shines through and it helps me kind of open up a little bit better. Um, I started my YouTube like a year, a couple years ago and I feel like it really like helped me open up a lot more. Um, And, um, I just need to continue with that so it can kind of grow a little bit better with that. Uh, I'm gonna, that was like my update, um, and you guys are seeing me get ready so you can see kind of like process and everything. Like, even though I'm rushing, I still, of course, take the most time on my brows. Um, I really want to get them microbladed and microblading is one of the things that I've been researching more and more lately. Um, I did, I, I, I been looking at classes so I can do it, and so far, I want to find a class that does, that does, um, like, the machine shading, which is called Powder Brows, and then, um, also teaches microblading, but because... It, like, basically they do either or, and it's, like, different classes, or it's just, like, super expensive. Um, the most class that I saw was around, uh, $5,000, and it teaches you the powder brows and, um, and, uh, and microblading, and then I think it gives you a tattoo machine. So, I have to double check, but... I would like to do, I would like to do that, that'd be nice, you know, um, I feel like it would definitely help with my, um, career if I were to do microblading, like, I am obsessed with brows, I'm, like, perfecting it, but I don't even know why I am, um, okay, so, put some powder on, to contour. If my boyfriend watches this, he'll know exactly how stressed I get when I am um, late. He hates when I stress in the morning. He's like, you need to make it up time for yourself. But he made a quiche yesterday, and it was so good. And I made a smoothie. It was, like, really good. So I was just, like, savoring everything. And I know when I get there, it's not going to be that stressful. I know that they're not going to be there. I just, I just like getting there before. And so good thing I did this get ready with me because I forgot to turn my wax pot on. And the nice thing is that I am able to turn it on from over here um, through Wi-Fi. So I don't have to worry about turning it on. Um, I got in there early to turn it on because um, hard wax or soft wax takes like 10 minutes to heat up. 
at least as long as you get around the edges of the wax pot it, you're fine you can use that but if you're doing a full body wax and you have not got turn on your wax pot it's really hard to do that and then hard wax takes literally an hour to get to heat up and so so annoying um but my alarm just went off and so that means i have i know that i have um 10 minutes to actually leave and then so i would have been at 11 30 so i have to leave at 11 10 just because sometimes my clients get there early like they're on the dot you know not even on the dot they're there like five minutes ten minutes before um one time i had a client that we made an appointment for 12 30 and they were literally there at 12 and i was like oh. i don't have a lot of like nice lipsticks all I have are like liquid lipsticks and sometimes when I do a look like this I don't want to put on like a really matte liquid lipstick um it's just not what I'm looking for so I'll have to see what I have play is cool so this is the Becca this is in burgundy put the lip mask on to hydrate but then it's like too too like wet so ooh mm, whatever this may have been the <laughs> I picked the wrong one I'm gonna take a little bit off of my let me put my I don't have time for nonsense right now I like colors like these, um, just not when it's so intense, so I will, um, like, blot it a little bit. I want to be able to see the distinction between my lips and everything, so that's what I do it. Okay. Rain time. If I can get it. I am not a cosmetologist. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just had a braid. Not even a Dutch braid, just a regular braid. And then I wake up and I'm my braid, or I get out of work and my braid is like so nice, you know? I just don't have time to straighten my hair and then I won't put as much damage on it anymore. Like, oh, I have three minutes. Perfect, because I just need to change. So I will get back to you when I am changed, guys.